What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I have another amazing World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys. And in today's video we're going to be going over a dungeon basically, one of the older dungeons that you can run repeatedly, get tons of just trash to vendor out, and you can make actually a, quite a bit of gold here. And this is actually, I'd say, one of the better farms um, that you can do for BFA right now. So if you guys haven't noticed recently, uh, a lot of the prices and where Battle for Azeroth is at right now is kind of not great. Uh, most of the prices have kind of fallen off and we're waiting on new content right now and we've kind of just tapped out all the resources on all the islands that we could really think of. So we're going to have to go ahead and revert back to some of these older farms. So first things first i am going to go ahead and show you where we are at we are here in the twilight highlands which is in the eastern kingdoms you can fly here or alternatively you can actually take the portal in stormwind to twilight High or twilight highlands then fly here um up to you each way works and uh, we're going to be farming the bastion of twilight so what you want to do when you get here is Ideally, you have a character that can run through tons of mobs quickly and AoE them all down, i.e. droid. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to set the raid difficulty to normal or heroic if we want to go crazy, but I'm just going normal. And then we're going to go to 25 player, make sure it's all good, and we're going to go ahead and just enter the instance. Now, this instance is great because, remember, as long as you don't kill any of the bosses, you can run out and just reset this 10 times and all of the mobs in this front room up here can be cleared if you're fast enough in literally just about 30 seconds as i am about to demonstrate for you guys so as you can see here you just want to pull everything you can uh, any speed buff or movement increase is ideal for this farm that's going to go ahead and make everything easier but as you can see we're going to go ahead and just pull all of these and then what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to switch back into a form that I can kill all these with. And then I'm going to go ahead and destroy all these. And as you can see, just about killed every one of there, minus a few over here. Um, but basically, out of this farm, you will get tons upon tons of Ember Silk Cloth. Now, the reason this is good is because Ember Silk Cloth has had basically a steady price uh, ever since Ember Silk Bags came out. So... Ember Silk Cloth basically can sell for a good amount of gold just because Ember Silk bags are still some of the best bags that you can get. Now, like I said, you don't want to go out there and kill that boss. You just want to go. You can pull these guys if you want at the end if you're looking for like extra gold and you want to go ahead and try to pull a little bit more out of here. But it, ideally, if you don't want to go ahead and kill those guys at the end, you don't have to. And uh, this is really just a trash run farm. So it's just run in, clear this first room, run back out, reset. And uh, so the main items that we're going to get is Ember Silk, and then we're also going to get a lot of uh, trash gear that we're going to hit the vendor. So if you guys have uh, one of the mounts that you can vendor all your stuff on, that's pretty ideal too, because you can literally just vendor everything right off the back of your mount, and you don't have to worry about anything. And that's really it for this farm. There's not a whole lot involved. Um, it's basically going here and farming. Now, what I'm going to do now is I have a ton of channel updates. That was it for the farm. That's all I really had to show you guys. And I obviously reset the instance after you leave. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video and we're going to talk about where the channel is at and also all the new updates for all this new stuff that's coming out that I'm super excited for. And uh, yeah. So, and also I'm going to teach you how you guys can get Destiny 2 for free if you stay tuned. But if you're leaving now, make sure you check out the links in the description. And thanks for staying, but I'm going to cut the video and we're going to see you all in Stormwind probably. And uh, I'll explain to you how you can actually get Destiny 2 for free right now. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you all in Stormwind. Bye. All right, everybody, we're back after that cut. And <clears throat> first things first, I'm going to explain to you all how you're going to be able to get Destiny 2 for free because that's probably the only reason a lot of you people stayed. Uh, now, just letting you know, if you're watching this video past the 18th of November, you are not able to get Destiny 2 for free. I just know that I have gotten it for free and that I actually told all my friends and they were able to get it for free too. Uh, Blizzard is actually giving away Destiny 2 for free up until the 18th of November. Uh, I checked all my friends, I called them up, I said, hey, you know, check out your Battle.net and see if you can download uh, Destiny 2. And they all had it sitting there, all they had to do was claim it. So even if you're not going to download it, I highly recommend you just open the battle.net launcher itself and just go into Destiny 2 
I had a pop-up show up when I launched it, and I went to watch or launch World of Warcraft, and it told me to claim Destiny, and then I did. Uh, so I'm just letting you know now. If you guys haven't checked, or you know, maybe you launched WoW through, you know, maybe just the executable file, the application, then just know that you should probably start up the launcher so you can get Destiny too. Also, uh, you guys may have also seen that Warcraft 3 was announced, remastered actually. Which is pretty exciting because personally I have never touched or played Warcraft 3. Um, so I think when that game does come out that will be being covered on the channel definitely. That's something that I think some of my subs like to see and I know that um, a lot of people are kind of switching you know to go play that game a little bit too. So I want to go ahead and put some content out on other things that are just World of Warcraft but still things that are related. But remember, keep in mind, you guys should definitely go get Destiny 2 if, uh, you know, you can get it for free. Because I know a lot of people, you know, don't always have the money. I mean, I, I, honestly, I don't want to go spend the money to go get Destiny 2, but I got it for free. So I'm just letting you guys know, uh, you know, might give you, you and your friends all have a game to play or something because Destiny is good for that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's about it for that. That's how you get Destiny 2 for free. Um, that's pretty crazy. I think that Blizzard has actually given that away. So check that out below. Now... I have a couple of interesting things to talk about. So I here's where we stand at the channel right now. So unfortunately, I just don't have enough time in the day to stream, upload videos, go to school, and go to work. Uh, I just cannot do it. Like I couldn't do that every day. Um, but I will be moving soon, and I will be attending a new university. But I'll have a little bit of a gap. So I plan within the next you know month or two. Uh, that I will actually be streaming. I plan to have a streaming schedule, um, you know, where I do, you know, a stream daily, and then I can also upload a video daily for you guys as well. So, if you guys stay tuned, that's the plan. After I move and I switch to a different university, I will have tons of more free time to go ahead and possibly even bring streaming back into this, and uh, even just, you know, branch out to other types of video games as well. Uh, I mean, obviously, World of Warcraft is the main thing. I love playing World of Warcraft. That's why I make videos on it. So, obviously, this is going to be the main thing still. So, like, don't get worried. You know, I won't be streaming for a while until uh, I actually make that transition. So, just letting you guys know that. thought that's something you guys should probably know uh, as well. So, yeah. That's really <laughs> all I had for this video. If you liked it, it would really help if you guys could share the video or leave a like or comment down below. Uh, or maybe even like say, hey, King Kunta, that was a really good video. Because that'll make me really happy if you guys do that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I love you all so much. You guys are, I don't know, you're what makes the channel what it is. So thanks for all, you know, staying in tune and everything. And uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can check out the links in the description below. Also, post a comment if you have a question. I am always here. I try to respond to them. Uh, as best I can. Remember, if you do comment uh, Kappa, then obviously I can get to your comment faster because I do filter them out. And uh, it, it's basically just a way of me finding your comment a little bit easier out there. So that should be where we stand right now uh, for the channel. Um, I'm not going to... I might be bringing all the horde farms over from BFA. So what I mean by that is all of the horde farms that I haven't really covered yet, I think I'm going to cover all of those as soon as I possibly can. And then I think I'll have everything covered on BFA for the most part because I I honestly I don't know any more gold farms that I can do in any of the islands other than, you know, of course, horde ones, which is going to happen. But um, it's just nothing at this point that I can really cover anymore uh, alliance-wise. So... Uh, that's where we stand on that, so there's going to be some older farms coming out and also some horde ones, so uh, just be aware of that. But they will all be very lucrative, they'll be able to make you tons of gold, and of course they will both be universal for both sides as long as you're level 120, because you can go to both continents still, so not really a problem for you guys. And uh, yeah, so that's going to, this is actually really it for the video, sorry about that, I went off on a little bit of a tangent there. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching this video, guys. If you do leave a like or comment or anything down below, it really does help me out. Makes me, you know, know that you guys are there helping me out and kind of supporting me, kind of kicking me in the butt to keep making videos because I know you guys need them. I know you guys like this channel. So <sighs> again, thanks so much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully I have a video out tomorrow for you guys. 
It'll probably be another dungeon farm, but yep, we'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching. It's Ben King Kuta, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.